achievement is it, is it for the body to give you? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in the words of a taxi driver who brought me to the ground today. He thinks it's not just the biggest achievement in cricketing or sporting history. He thinks it's one of the biggest days in the history of the country. That's what this means, to go and play against the two giants of world cricket, India and Pakistan. Nepal, this is the start of something incredibly special. On T day size, how big of an impact do you think he has had in this run? It's kind of hard to overstate, isn't it? Uh, they've lost one game since he arrived. They've played with a maturity and a consistency that was never in Nepali cricket. They've always had talent here. There's always been good bowlers, there's been great fielders, there's been great energy, there's been great passion. But the batting in particular has been horribly inconsistent. And Monty Desai, purely through a mantra as much as anything else, nothing technical, nothing really, there has been some great tactical stuff. But it's more being that he's got the mental side of the game. He's conditioned these boys as to how to manage occasions like today. And we saw that at 22 for three today, everyone would have thought, in history, back 10, 11 years ago, Paresh Lahani and Sharad Vesakar told me they couldn't chase 117 against Tanzania. Today against UAE with 25, 30,000 people here, they chased it comfortably. Our players, most of the players are under 25. And now when we think of playing against India and Pakistan, we're the underdogs. So these players are only going to get better with time. So do you think with, with, with our, let's say, four years, five years, we can actually compete with these teams. I couldn't agree more with you. I really think Nepal is at such a similar stage to where Ireland was maybe a decade ago or maybe eight, eight nine years ago as they were just starting to dominate associate cricket and just starting to make that surge for test status. The additional thing about Nepal that they have sport and nothing galvanizes the attention of the nation like the national cricket teams. I believe strongly it's the start of something. They're not going to go and necessarily beat India or beat Pakistan in this first time they play them. But the exposure they get against them against better quality of bowling, better quality of overall consistency and quality of cricket, they're only going to get better and better. I think the sky's the limit for this team. Thank you.